Hello beautiful people, thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are going to play with a bunch of makeup that I just accumulated um, in the past couple of weeks. I have a lot in front of me. I have the Sephora foundation. I never tried this one and I really wanted to try it. I have some Kaleidos, I have some Natasha Denona, the cheek duo that I got in gratis. I have more Kaleidos over here. I have some YSL lip balm. I have the Patrick Ta uh, plumping lips. Well, I also have this eyeshadow palette that is Hellas and Odin's Eye Angelica's uh, collab. I uh, have some uh, Too Faced. I have the LYS. So I have a bunch of things in here that I want to play with. So let's get in. I'm going to start with this YSL Top Secret Instant Matte Pore Refiner. What I like about this one is the fact that it's very hydrating in the same time, but also kind of makes my pores look a little bit smaller. So we're going to definitely apply this one. I usually just kind of like to lightly press it over my skin. I already prepped my skin uh, with my serum and my uh, moisturizer and already looks really good. So I'm just kind of pressing this in a little bit. I'm very curious to see how this foundation is going to perform. This is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation and this is supposed to have like some anti-pollution agents in there but i um, not sure if this is gonna match me because the one that matched me perfectly we didn't have in the store so I had to grab the other one that was like the closest one to that one so we're definitely gonna try it this is in 25N and let's have a look okay so as you can see it's not very liquidy which I actually prefer From what I can see already, it's more of a light to medium. Okay, it is a little bit too... Like, the color is not too bad for me. I can make this work, but I feel like it's a little bit too sheer for my liking. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply a little bit more. And I'm going to go over the areas where I have a little bit of redness and try to like kind of blend that in. Maybe it's working better with your fingers or maybe with a brush. Yeah, it looks like with my fingers, it definitely feels like it's gonna give me a little bit more coverage. So I'm just gonna do that. So one thing that I like about this foundation though is that it's very lightweight and I don't feel it. Like I don't feel it at all. Uh, so that's a good thing. Now, the coverage is not what I usually like to go for. The finish is also not something that I'm that much into it. It's more like a, like a matte, like a soft matte. And I started to like more like natural finish or satin finish. This one, I don't like matte finish anymore. So that's one of the reasons why I feel like this is not necessarily a foundation that I am gravitate to, I'm gonna gravitate too much. I'm gonna gravitate towards to too much. Oh my god, English is hard this morning. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this YSL Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. I have been using this and I just love love this concealer it's definitely not a full coverage concealer but what i like the most about it is the fact that it is very very hydrating it's not settling into my lines it looks absolutely gorgeous on the skin and it's so so easy to use definitely the way to go with this one is a brush so i have this concealer brush from Rare beauty witch Oh my god, it's so, so good. I love this. You have problems blending your concealer. It's not looking too great or something like that. I totally recommend this brush. It's absolutely uh, beautiful and it's just perfect 
it's like look how easy it goes into this area which is the, for me the hardest area to like blend concealer and it is just a dream and it's so 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 easy to blend with i love this brush so i'm gonna go as usual with my huda beauty under my eyes this is in banana bread All right, next, I want to go with this Natasha Denona Cream Blush and Highlighter Rose Cheek Duo. Um, I want to try that blush and see how it looks before I powder my face. So this is how the packaging looks like. And I'm going to open it real quick for you, which is very hard to open. There you go. And this is how it looks inside. It's a really nice pink, so... I want to see how that one is. Okay, not too bad. Very soft. It's very soft pink. Yeah. But when I felt it, it felt more like powder than cream. So I'm not quite sure how this uh, formula is like. But the way it blends and the way it looks on the skin is very pretty. So I'm going to leave that over there. I'm going to go real quick and powder the rest of my face with the Kosas uh, Pillowy Cloud Set. I love this. I've been using it a whole lot. So I'm going to apply this all over my face. I'm going to quickly go and uh, do the uh, brows with this Too Faced Super Fine brown detailer and i have mine in espresso now that we have our brows done i'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of this Too Faced shadow insurance 24 plus hours and i've been liking this one i've been playing with it a little bit i like the fact that it doesn't have color because sometimes i feel like when they do have color um it looks a little patchy but this one doesn't have a color and it blends on the eye really nicely what i like also keeps my eye um is not letting my eyelids get oily because i usually usually that happens okay there you go so we're definitely going to play with this eyeshadow palette. I haven't touched it ever since I got it. And I got it quite a while back. But I'm feeling a little bit more into pinks today. So I think that's going to be the direction we're going to go today. Or maybe I'm going to combine a little bit of green with pink in the same time. So uh, why don't I actually do uh, this color right here where that is called underworld so i'm gonna apply this one like on this side of the eyelid so i'm gonna do maybe half and half oh that is pigmented i like that that is really nice all right so I'm going to definitely go like maybe this high with it. I usually don't like to go very, very close to my brow bone. Uh, it's rare when I usually do that because I just feel like it doesn't look that great on me. So I'm also going to get with uh, this one right here, which I think it's called Hella. And it's a pink. And I'm going to add that right next to it. So we're going to do half and half. Just like that. I kind of like it. I kind of dig this, this to this look. What I like even more is that right here you see just a little bit of that green on this side. Right here on top you can see just a little bit of that pink. Which I, it wasn't intentional, but I love how it came out. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. 
and then we'll see how we're gonna proceed next we'll see so it's just kind of contemplating which direction do I want to go do I want to go with suit or do I want to go with this uh, more like a red color which is called goddess or do I want to go with a brown so I think what I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with actually this green that is called Ouroboros I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right so I'm just gonna add a little bit of that right in this corner but not a whole lot I just want just a pinch Just to kind of darken it up a little bit in the corner, just to kind of give it a little bit of closure. All these shades are very nice and pigmented, and I am very surprised that on my eyes it looks this bright, because I usually find that pastels usually they get a little bit lost on my skin tone so that tells me that this is a very and very pigmented um eyeshadow palette very pretty oh i like that i like that a lot oh yes i really love how this is coming along i'm gonna take that dark green and just kind of apply halfway on the lower lash. And then the other half, I have this eyeliner from uh, Sephora's collection. And this one, it is in, I think it's in line. Yes, it's in line. Finally was able to open it. So I'm gonna take this one and apply it in my waterline, but only in the first half so I decided to put it all over uh, in my waterline and a little bit right here in the front I like how this is looking this is pretty surprising I have never made a look similar to this one so I am kind of proud that I gonna step out of my of my zone you know so I'm gonna quickly go ahead and apply some mascara uh, and then a, bl a bronzer because I don't have any new bronzers. I think I'm just gonna go for bronzer with the NARS one, the Laguna one, which is right here. So I'm gonna go and apply that real quick and then we'll come back to do lips and highlighter. So for lips, I'm gonna go with the ABH uh, lip liner in parchment to just kind of line my lips. This is a new product from them and it is, it is nice and creamy, not as creamy as uh, others, but very easy to deal, very easy to fill your lips and line your lips with. So it's not going to be slippery, you know, but it's also still pretty creamy. And I really, really like this color. So I am going to go with this from YSL. This is the Rouge Volupte Shine All in Stick, which is in 150 nude lingerie. And this is how it looks like. It has a mango scent. And it's very pregnant. I mean, it's not a scent that a lot of people are gonna like, in my opinion. But it's mango scent. I don't know how many people like mango. But this is how it looks like. I like it. I like it. Now let's finish off with the highlighter and then I'm going to apply a little bit of this blush from Kaleidos. I uh, purchased mm, the brush and also I purchased an eyeshadow palette from them. I don't have time to play with that one today. I mean, I don't have time 
to use anything from there but this blush it's so pretty so i definitely want to use this one and also i'm going to use the um highlighter from this duo of natasha denona i'm going to clean up under my eye because i still have a bunch of powder and i'm gonna go with this blush first oh look at that yes i needed just a little bit more intensity into my cheeks oh yeah i like that and then for highlighter let's do this and see how is looking as a highlighter i tried her highlighters before and they're not my favorites to be honest with you they're just a little bit emphasizing my texture i'm looking for a brush oh yeah let, let me try this one this is from sephora collection and this is in 87 so i'm gonna grab it with this Yeah, so it's doing the same thing. It's kind of emphasizing a little bit my uh, texture. So it's almost the same like the other one that I have in the duo with the bronzer. Mm, yeah, not my favorite. I like just a little bit of shine and not something that is going to emphasize my texture. But here we are. I'm going to spray it down real quick with my trusty Urban Decay All Nighter. And this is the final look. What do you guys think? I absolutely love this eyeshadow uh, palette and the way this eye look came out. It's so, so damn good. I also love both of the blushes. I'm not a big fan of the highlighter. I like both the lip combo, but I don't like the scent of it or the taste of it. It tastes really weird. But uh, this foundation is a little bit too matte for my liking. Um, I think I need like a base that is a little bit more shiny to make it more to my liking. But other than that, I think we had pretty good solid products that we tried today. And uh, I'm really happy with the overall look. They have it. Thank you so, so much for coming in today and spending some of your time with me. Thank you so much for being here and I cannot wait to see you all next time. Bye now.